what is going on guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be breaking down why dragonite has a 48.50 percent win rate do not be deceived by the win rate on this hero this hero is an absolute beast right now especially as a carry but can also be flexed into the off lane also as a mid laner this hero is definitely no joke there's a reason why this hero is pretty contested at ti i wouldn't say he was one of the favorites but he was definitely a hero that got a lot of playtime in ti and was pretty heavily contested for a reason because the hero just does a lot of things right right and thanks to his fire dragon facet you have access to splash damage on your attacks it gets stronger when you're in dragon form but basically that allows you to cleave and that's something very important because it helps you farm a lot faster so treads is pretty much the way to go on this hero that way you get that extra attack speed and you're actually able to take stacks super super fast you pop your dragon form and thanks to that splash damage you're going to take stacks super super quick so once you have level six you can easily go into your triangle and start taking the ancients if your team stack them for you and even in some downtime in the laning phase you can go in and stack a camp and easily get rid of it and that's something dragonite was not able to do before you'd have to max out fire breath and it still wouldn't be very optimal for you to take stacks on this hero it was just never that great i'm glad to see this hero has been quite popular recently and the fact that he is back in the meta especially as a carry because dragonite is typically one of these boring heroes the way he's being built right now is very very fun so your typical build on dragonite right now especially for carry is going to be treads into wand and then bracer you're going to get yourself an arm Armlet, SNY, and Daedalus. You could also flex for a Silver Edge, BKB, or Scotty. The hero is just pumping out damage left, right, and center. You could also build a Gleipnir if you're facing up against Illusion heroes, or you're dealing with some pesky Silver Edge buyers, or just Invis heroes in general, and you want some extra lockdown. The fact that you have so much stun and so much armor, you're able to really deal with some of these pesky matchups, and it makes you super durable. And having the Armlet, if you're good at Armlet toggling, it could feel like you're immortal on this hero. It's something that definitely takes practice. You do have to get good at it, but once you become good at using armlet, it can be the difference maker in living in a team fight and not being able to live or maybe taking someone down with you when they really weren't expecting the turnaround potential. That's why even though Huskar can be a garbage hero, some people that are just really good at toggling are able to get the max amount of benefits from the hero and easily turn around plays that the enemy really thought they weren't capable of doing. A lot of the key features about playing the Dragonite carry is that he can just easily jump the backline. You can run it with a blank dagger, you can run it with the Silver Edge, but you're able to jump the backline quite easily. You can easily stun people, which is always gonna be nice. A point click stun is very easy. He's also very easy to play hero. I featured him in my best beginner heroes this hero has always been very practical to use so very user friendly so if you're a new player and you want to pick up the dragonite carry he's a really solid option also the hero doesn't lose a lot of lanes which is very important to have on a carry that's popular because if you're just only good against certain matchups and you're pretty terrible against everything else that's meta you're going to be struggling but this hero the fact that you have that splash you're able to go into the jungle quite happily even if you're in really dire straits very difficult lanes you can easily stack for yourself get your team to stack for you and you can easily come back into the game very easily thanks to that cleave and the more levels you get into your dragon form the stronger that cleave is going to get so the easier you're going to be farming and if you end up building an item like Gleipnir you're going to be farming even faster and you're going to become a really big menace on the map another key feature is you also have damage reduction thanks to your fire breath and something you definitely can't sleep on if they don't have a basic dispel which eventually every hero pretty much has that damage reduction could be the difference of them actually killing you and not doing pretty much any damage to you heroes like spectre definitely don't want to be hit by this they're going to be forced to pop their manta because they're not going to be doing any damage that damage reduction is quite heavy it also helps you farm and it's just a really good part of dragon knight's kit you also have really high armor and you also push towers really really quickly so it's the type of hero that you can easily go high ground with which is also very important as a carry for you to be able to bridge the high ground without a lot of effort being in your dragon form you're able to take care of towers very very quickly and that's always been one of the better features of dragon knight that you can easily take towers you pretty much do a lot of things you're just not very mobile you're not super Super quick so building a blink dagger could be important if you're trying to fight against some pesky heroes if not build the silver edge it's also going to help you move around the map escape some sticky situations and maybe if you're up against a bristleback can easily help you turn that fight and be able to get rid of that hero because otherwise it's going to be very difficult if that bristleback gets a lot of farm and easily gets on top of you and then you're going to be in a really sticky situation now let's break down some of the best and worst matchups for the dragonite some of the best matchups are puck ember lichen axe bristleback you're good up against 
all these heroes, especially the puck, because your stun is a point click, it's so much easier to land. You're going to be hitting that puck more often than not. And the lower MMR it is, the more often you're going to be hitting the puck. Ember is the same. These are the type of heroes that don't want to be locked down whatsoever. And they're pretty scared of the Dragonite. You can also run the Dragonite mid against the puck. It's a very free lane. There's nothing the hero can do. You have just so much armor and damage reduction, and you can just sit there and deny all the creeps as you wish. And it's a pretty miserable lane for the puck. So if you guys are looking for a mid lane option that is really solid against puck, this is definitely one of the better ones. And heroes like Axe and Bristleback, you can just easily get a Silver Edge and take care of them. And once you have a Daedalus running on the Dragonite, you can easily burst an Axe. It's just so much freaking damage along with your armlet and your S and Y is going to help you get away from the call much faster. That status resistance is always going to be very important and it makes you a lot tankier as well. You can also build the Mask of Madness, which is a build that I actually really like. Very situationally, it's not something you want to pick up every game, but if it's a game that you're able to just sit there and right click without much penalty and they don't have a lot of ways to punish you for the Mask of Madness, I really like the build. I like getting the armlet first and then getting the Mask of Madness and I think it's really good because that timing is so fast. You're able to push tempo with it. You're able to also counter team fight if you're being five man very early. You're able to get this Mask of Madness and the armlet online quite fast and it helps you do a lot more around the map and that extra attack speed with your fire dragon is just going to be absolutely fantastic so I highly recommend it and lifesteal is always going to be great on the Dragonite because you are losing some HP thanks to the armlet so getting some of that back with the Mask of Madness is going to be a really wonderful tool. Some of the bad matchups are Viper, Huskar, Slark, Razor, Sand King. These matchups are pretty difficult. They're not the end all be all but I think Viper is really really difficult. You have to build pretty much to counter the Viper. You got to get yourself a BKB maybe a Mage Slayer. You pretty much have to itemize just to deal with that hero. It's just very annoying. The break is very very difficult to deal with and if it's an off lane Viper you're going to be struggling throughout the laning phase and be prepared to leave that lane early. Now, unless you have a really strong support that can easily sway that matchup then you might be okay. Heroes like a Crystal Maiden maybe a Tree and Protector. Heroes that could just lock down the Viper so you can deal that damage early on then you might be okay but other than that you're not going to have a really fun time against these heroes. Heroes like Slark can easily get on top of you and just start building stacks left right and center and he can always disengage and then get back into the fight and there's not a whole lot you can do it and the more stacks he gets the more he's going to be able to man fight you and that can become problematic as well and razor is a very meta carry right now and even as a mid lane i've been seeing him quite often and he's just an anti carry and you're a right click hero so it's just really difficult for you to get static link you're gonna maybe be forced to buy a hurricane pike just to deal with it and get away from the static link because a full link is pretty much going to make you useless for the fight and you definitely don't want to lose your ability to right click which is pretty much your main source of damage your fire breath is nowhere near enough damage to sustain you through a team fight and to do enough damage for you to get that team fight win let me know in the comments below what you guys think about dragon Knight. i definitely love the position that he's in even though his win rate is below 50 percent, i still believe the hero should be past 50 percent. i think he's a really strong option and beginner players should definitely be picking this hero up and playing him as much as possible he is definitely a threat in this meta and should be considered into your hero pool hopefully you guys enjoyed Enjoyed the video if you guys learned something consider subscribing and joining the dota chronicles community i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching <laughs>